Okay, so uh, these handles, it's reverse screw. It's not lefty, righty, righty, tidy. It's the opposite. So uh, just uh, keep that in mind when you're putting the old one on and the new one off. Um, here we have the tank, okay? Uh, we got to get the uh, overflow out. So there's this rubber gasket. You take it off. You could use, um, you got to get this big bolt off. You could use like a big channel lock like this. Usually works. Or you could use like a, a big wrench or something like that. Uh, so, you usually just have to get it going like half the time. Or, and then you could usually get it, get it by hand. Okay, so we got this off. I think they call this like a spud or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. As long as you get the job done, it doesn't matter what they call it. Okay. All right, there we go. The old broken one. Okay, and this piece out. Um, you'll notice there's a gasket in there. Now, you're going to want to get all the parts uh, separated by a kit. Like, this kit's supposed to have everything in it. So, uh, this one has like, the handle, the overflow, it's got the bolt. Okay, so here's our uh, fill, fill valve. Okay, here's the overflow assembly, uh, the fill valve tube, overflow tube, the new flush handle. This is the bits and pieces, more bits and pieces. Okay, so uh, immediately we're going to be using these bits and pieces because this is uh, the bolts and the washers for this. Uh, uh, oh, well, that's the tank to bowl. We're going to have to put that in along with this overflow. Uh, I just like to open everything up first, so... Okay, so let's get... Uh, Let's get these guys in first. You're going to want to put, and the instructions are on the package and the diagrams and stuff, but basically, okay, here we go. All right, now on the bottom, again, you want a, uh, a rubber washer and then a metal washer. Okay, all right, so on this top side, on this top side, because it's a big, head on the bolt so we don't really need the washer the washer we're going to save for when we put the bowl actually on the tank so rubber wash and the wa metal washer on this side then the bolt that's you see there's a thicker bolt and a thinner bolt so we're going to use the thinner bolt here because there's clearance issues between the bowl and the tank that's a neat little trick there by this company Again, not mentioning any names because uh, we don't have any sponsorship. Okay. okay. So here we have our tank to bowl bolts are installed. Put this overflow in. And hopefully you paid attention when you were taking it out to which way it was oriented. But basically, you want the, um, because the, the handle's going to be in here. So you want the flapper kind of under the handle. So we would want it like, like this, not like that. Okay, and not like that. So we want it like that, okay? So in here is already installed is the rubber gasket for the top side. And that's packing material, okay? So we got the, the rubber gasket for the top sides already in there. And then you want to take your, uh, your new nylon, whatever they call this. Okay, and I'm just shaking it around a little bit because I want to make sure this is seated correctly in the hole. to get this like maybe hand tight and then another half a turn or something or another three quarters whatever you could get it's got to be tight but you know not like crazy but definitely want it to, we want to tighten this up okay 
Okay, so we got uh, we got good orientation. It's nice and tight. Now this guy, there's a little manufacturing debris on there. This is the tank to ball gasket. You just want to slip that over everything there. Okay. Now this assembly. So I'm going to take a, a wire brush and just make sure that there's a nice smooth clean surface for that gasket to mate. Uh, so I put a little all purpose on this. I just like to make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so you can kind of see how that big red gasket's gonna fit in there and those two bolts. And then we're gonna put the um, washer underneath in the bolt and we're gonna tighten that up, so. Alrighty. So you can see that air. And I'm just going to pop it on there. So we're going to put on those bottom bolts, there's our washer that we saved, and the other rubber washer, and, uh, and that fat bolt goes underneath. Now these ones, when you tighten up, you want to be careful to tighten them evenly. Now here I'm tightening up the tank to bowl bolts, there's uh, one on each side underneath the tank. You want to make sure you tighten them up evenly uh, so the tank ends up level and equally tight. You don't end up with any leaks. And now I'm checking the toilet right now, and this one was loose at the base. So I spent a couple of minutes tightening up those two bolts at the base, and that's all it took on this one to make it nice and solid. They were just loose. Now this is the fill valve here. It's a 400A. They're pretty decent uh, models. They're also adjustable in their shaft height, and here I'm stretching it out uh, to get the top even with the top of the tank. If it's too high, the lid won't close. If it's too low, it doesn't fill up all the way. And then there's that locking ring I just pointed to. You want to make sure that's locked, or when you turn the water on, it might just shoot up and water will spray out all over. But it just simply clicks into place. There's that locking ring again. And then from underneath, they supply you with the fill valve uh, bolt it's a nylon bolt you put it on from underneath clockwise to tighten it and the the newer models you don't even need a wrench they got a couple of uh butterflies on there and you could just use your thumb and forefinger and just make it nice and tight uh, you're also going to want to hold with your other hand you're going to want to hold the top of the fill valve so it doesn't spin when it gets real tight but uh that's all there is to that In this clip here, although it's a little dark, we're taking the supply line from the wall and we're tightening it up to the bottom of the fill valve or the ball cock, whatever you want to call it. And this is a newer model with uh, the click. When it's tight enough, it clicks and then you don't have to tighten it anymore. But again, you may want to, with your other hand, hold the top of the fill valve to make sure it doesn't spin and stays in the position you want. Here's a nice shot of it. And here we're cutting our overflow uh, supply tube to length. The one end gets that clip which keeps it in the tube. And the other end slips onto the little nub on the side of the fill valve. And these are important because this is, I'm going to show you in the next shot. But this supply tube is what puts the water around the rim of the bowl. And here's a shot inside the tank. And you'll see that tube is cut to length. And now we're going to turn on the uh, water and we'll be able to, after the tank's got a couple inches of water in it, we can open the flapper and see if that tank to bowl gasket is indeed holding water. But there I'm pointing to that overflow and there I'm pointing to the rim feed. So that's where you get that rim feed, that water around the rim. It comes from that, so it's very important that that's stuck in the tube like that, not shooting outside. It's got to shoot inside the tube. It's a big mistake a lot of people make. Now there's a couple inches of water in the tank. I'm opening the flapper with the handle, and I'm checking underneath, because if that gasket was bad, if we did a bad installation, it would be leaking from either around the back bottom there or around the sides or around the front. 
And here we just filled it up all the way. And again, we're flushing it just to double check that the flapper closes and that the water is not spilling out from underneath the tank and our bolts are holding water and our rim feed and everything is checking out good. And you can also see in that shot the new handle was installed, the new flush handle. And the chain to the flapper, the length is adjusted perfectly. You don't want it too tight because then when someone pushes down all the way on the flush handle, it kind of stretches the rubber of the flapper. And over time, the flapper will prematurely wear. But you don't want it so loose that when they push down on the handle, the flapper doesn't open all the way. 